Hello and welcome back! I am Lord Ravenwork, this is Crusader Kings 2, The Return of the Jewish Aztecs. First thing I'd like to mention, I realized after next episode, after last session, um... As you can see, Rodnovary is now called Slavic again. Um, apparently, what had happened was during the last update they made, they modified how the, um, the manner in which mods can alter the, uh, the, uh, localization. So it works differently now. It should be easy to fix. I've been able to fix it in some of my other mods. It'll just take some, uh, searching. Um, I'll, I'll probably do this after I'm done recording this. It's not something very urgent that needs fixing right now because we're not in that part of the world. But yeah, so I just wanted to address that. Um, anyways, we have a plan to implement, don't we? Well, first of all, there are some pesky Vikings who need slaughtering. And then, once that is done with, as we have already decided upon, we will be invading this guy, who managed to escape my invasion by rebelling against his lord. He probably didn't realize that at the time, but it wasn't actually that bad a move. Anyways, I will be invading him, Holy War, so that it brings in neighboring Christians. Uh, one more thing, I, um, I noticed a new stat, if I can find it. Here it is, Infamy, uh, similar to, um, in Europa Universalis 4. I forget what they call it in that game. They don't call it infamy, but it's it's some aggressive expansion. That's right, or infamy in Victoria too. Anyways, um, I imagine probably what this stat does is when it gets high enough, I'll be the target of a coalition. Is my expectation. Uh, and I haven't seen the Coalition... Uh, map... yet. I, I haven't seen Coalitions actually in action yet, so, uh... It, it will be interesting to see how it works. Anyways... Let's play the game. We've got some Vikings we need to crush. Now, um, let's also see. Okay, so we've got some factions here. Nothing really strong enough that it actually needs to be dealt with, though. Now, this guy here who doesn't seem to like me... Can I kill him? I can. Should I, though? Probably not. Probably an easier way to deal with him is with a handful of coins and some crappy honorary titles. You can be my... Uh... You can be the Seneschal. There you go. And then, um...
Uh, I will also send my... My guy to, uh... To his territory. Right, my, um... My this one. To Dyfed. And pretty soon he'll like me too much to actually want to rebel. Now, meanwhile, and let's keep that running. Hmm, interesting. Looks like the Ashkenazi I uh, gave Desmond to died with only a daughter. Which means, regrettably, his house won't last too long. Unless she's smart enough to uh, get a matrilineal wedding. Which I don't think Nawaz can do, but she's Ashkenazi, so... You know, if she does realize to do that... Good for her. Uh, yeah. So, we're doing a good job mopping up our Vikings here. Damn, where do they all come from? I mean, I guess they probably all come from Scandinavia. That would make sense, but there's so many of them. And all they do is keep dying over and over again. It's getting really damned annoying. Luckily for me, that guy's leaving. I actually don't really want to fight him. So, look. You guys head through there. And then go for them. Are you guys joking? You're you're really really doing this. Okay, look. Uh on the twenty fifth, let's start heading to Galloway. Yeah, see if we can cut off those guys who will be in Ulster on the 10th, which means we'll beat them there by 10 days. Cruelty. And this is someone who's probably not going to rule anything. Yeah, sure, he can torture small animals. I mean, it's not like that's an early warning sign for being a serial killer or anything. So just, like, kill me some Vikings, and I really wish we could kill them all more easily. Combat's got become a lot more like EU4, which is too bad because it's so much harder to actually have a decisive victory in a battle in that game. Okay. <coughs> okay. Hopefully, I had the good sense to actually cut that out. So if I did, um, you probably missed, like, the tail end of a very one-sided battle. That's really nothing to be concerned about. Yeah, I think I blew out, like, an eardrum blowing my nose, which I don't even know how that's possible. Nah, I, I'm pretty sure that's not actually what happened, but... 
My left ear isn't hearing so well all of a sudden. Okay, so. Now that we've got the new land. <coughs> we can get ourselves another Jaguar Warrior retinue. Excellent. So... Let's group them together. Okay, so... How many troops do we have available? We can raise the mercenaries. <coughs> for a change. That's excellent. We do have tons and tons of money. We may want to wait like a month or two, get some of the Jaguar retinue <coughs> replenished a little bit. Zolan. So this reduces his diplomacy in return for extra intrigue. No, no, I can't do that, not with Zolan. Damn it. It did nothing. <clears throat> okay, so... At a replenishment rate of... 22 soldiers a month... We've got, what's this? You're headed to TV at Dale on the 30th. On the 29th, I'll make sure I'll send my, uh... My army in your direction. Good luck, sir, Vikings. You'll need it. Oh, you want to get out of here? <laughs> it's a damn shame you had to wait too long. Funny how dying horribly comes so easily to Vikings. It's like a national pastime to them or something. And what's this? Hrothgar? I get myself a prisoner. One with no money and no family. Meaning... I'm gonna have him killed. Down goes Hrothgar. As punishment for the sins of his lord and Jarl.